just because no one's ever caught one doesn't mean they're not real. That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yeti only look fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Look! Henry, what's happened? Meet Croft. Hey, 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 hey. The Sparrow Tango 229er. We lost our port side engine. We're trying to get cross speeds open. Are we going to crash? Orbit engine non responsive. Not unless it's absolutely necessary. Stabilizer jam! Kicking runner losing altitude! We're going full nose down! Close your eyes, darling. I don't want to close my eyes. certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in the powers has tipped me off about a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? Ah, that was lovely. Hey, do me a favor and check your PDA. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. from the screen then. Sip. This will be a long trip otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. If I can't see nobody, I got worked up thinking I'd put someone down today. But now there's nothing. He owes me one. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rut. Any idea who he is or who he works for? 
I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. Jumped out and started swinging? Yeah, sort of danced around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah? Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. Yeah, whatever, man. I see you! Isn't she beautiful? I'm falling in love all over again. You say that to all the ruins. I'm a terribly lucky girl. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your gear doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? Getting into trouble.
this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders have to tunnel around hard rock deposits. Someone picked an unfortunate place to hunt. The mechanism.
still breathing, yes. been hoping I'd get to meet you. At ease. We're just gonna talk. I'm listening. Have you found a piece of this? Is this what led you here? Where did you find that? It doesn't matter. What's important is what it does. Do you know? What I know is my business. So you don't then, and that means you don't have a piece. Amanda said you were sloppy. You should have paid more attention to Paraiso. Amanda? Amanda's dead. What the hell do you know about Paraiso? We're done talking.
father you were right. What was that? Keep yourselves caffeinated, lads. We've some work ahead of us. Means we're still alive. Can't complain about that. All right, who was that? You've heard of the Rutlands, right? From the States? Well, you just met the Senator's youngest son, James Rutland. Went to West Point, and that's about all he's done. Call up the footage, please. Welcome home, Lady Croft. Will your hand luggage require emptying or filling? Winston, take a look at this. It's almost identical, just configured differently. Identical to what? Something I saw a long time ago in Nepal. Miles from any pre-Incan culture. And you believe this to be a fragment of the sword? What sword? More likely another of its kind. Zip, I want you to find out what you can about this Rutland. Particularly where he is at the moment. Try Peru. You talked about Paraiso. He did imply there's information about the artifacts there. He said you've been to Paraiso. Well, what happened there? And who's Amanda? Alistair, go over these images and see what you can work out. Zip. Ring Anaya and see if she can meet me in Paraiso Saturday morning. seem quite so keen on visitors these days. Well, hey, you're the one with the guns. You can't blame me for knowing how to accessorize. Any word from Anaya? She said she'd meet you at the statue in the marketplace. At least we'll have our privacy. Hello, Lara. You realize that the streets were not deserted a moment ago. And I've been trying so hard to blend in. I hope I'm the one that frightens them and not something else. There's nothing here. Just a heap of pottery shards, littered with the bodies of old friends. If I knew this was where it would lead, I would never have told you about Bolivia. Yet here you are. La Paz is not so far away. Neither is the past.
I'm on my way. Right.
or die a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more. There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Is that what this is about? Closure? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. Lara! Get down here, you slacker! Jason says we're about to break through! In a minute, Amanda! We have some structural concerns. Would you just get down here? Your light. Stay there, Kent. I'm coming down. Amanda? Amanda! Kent! It's her! Wait! Kent!
the door. I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? That thing is coming. You have a better idea? The door might be trapped. We're trapped. Ah. Oh, God! To be perfectly honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. So, how are you getting in? The same way as the water, I hope. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. I'll keep her company.
what I think it is? It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. High tops don't fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Veracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Veracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth. Yes, the similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one, too. set into it, or in this case, Viticocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one Deus, but possibly. So the shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. 
And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My God. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted. But she seems safe for now. It's alright. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get me closer to her. Got it. How will you make it back with the floor missing? I suppose I'll have to take the high road back.
seen a panther, I think. It's hard to tell. Jaguar. They don't have <laughs> what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I need to find something to wear, though. exactly happened last time you and Takamoto got together? He was trying to pass off forged relics from the Asuka period, and conventional reason doesn't work with Yakuza. But you let him go. And now we're going to have a useful conversation. It's turned out quite nicely. Lara, got a call from Nishimura. He's in his office, so he won't be mingling. Bartender will hook you up with him, though. Ever predictable. Good evening. I believe Nishimura-san is expecting me. Ah, Lady Croft. He is in his office down the hall behind you. I will let him know you're coming. Thank you. Welcome, Lara. You have been enjoying my little party. Totemo tanoshinde yamas, Nishimura-san. When Takamoto arrives, however, it may cause you some inconvenience. Take care. He is a very dangerous man when his interests differ from yours. You'd be amazed how persuasive I can be, even with dangerous men. I am convinced. I am dangerous too, you remember. But please. Enjoy the party while you can, and good luck. Be brief, Miss Croft. I have many demands on my time, you understand? Of course, Takamoto-san. 
I am looking for a piece, a sword fragment, in the care of Waseda University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief, and you would be wise to avoid such accusations. Then I suggest we skip to the negotiations. I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Of course you do. Just name a price. Miss Croft, are you deaf? I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. Never arrived at a party empty-handed. Takamoto has no doubt returned to his penthouse. Do not follow him, Lara. His men will be waiting. This lobby is a death trap. I know you're into those, but it's not really a winning option. If I can't go down, I'll go up. How do I get to the roof? The roof? There is an elevator. Be cautious. There is construction above. I don't know about this, Lara. Well, that's why we have to view the problem from a different angle. Namely, the roof. Nishimura gave me the pass to the lift, and I'm on my way. Place for a bike. And a nice one, too. Huh. Well, it's a crime to keep a bike like that locked up on a roof. Nishimura's gonna bill you for that. It's not a party until something gets broken. Alright. That building across the street? That's Takamoto's. He's likely to be on the top floor. This is going to require some creativity.
Then let's see about shutting it down. See them when I do. be outside. Don't bother me, Alistair. They make me positively nauseous. Like I told her in Bolivia. I'll try my best to keep my chin up, but I do need to concentrate, if you don't mind.
Yes. You smell a trap. I do. Be careful. As lovely as that is, don't you think it's a little big to bring her by yourself? Just like the lady work, buddy. Now that's a part with form and function. Made it. How bad you hit? I've been better. Let's not do that again. You should not have come here. This is my province, not one of your rotten little tombs. Tell me about the sword, Takamoto. What about it? What is it that fascinates you, Ms. Croft? Let me have a look at it and I'll tell you. Your persistence will be the death of you. My men. I've simplified your payroll. And now, if you don't mind, I'll streamline your inventory. You speak of this? It is the most prized of my collection. And why is that? I am fond of recovering objects from dead Englishmen. In this case, one of your crusaders. Some have even said the warmonger was one of your King Arthur's knights. I do not know how the fool came by it. Fort is clearly far older than the 11th century, when your people lived in huts of mud. And for this reason, you'd rather die than hand it over? No. Well, this one! This is it, all right. Did you see what it can do? Yes, Alistair, I did. The Shimura's got a chopper outside waiting for you. Excellent. Tell him he's my new favorite person.
Shimura-san. I'm very relieved to find you here. I am relieving myself, too. What about Takamoto? Where is he? It depends on whether he was naughty or nice. We've got a line on James Rutland, by the way. Want to go together? Absolutely. Africa is among my favorite continents.